Singapore's Civil Defence Force were called twice in 20 minutes. Both people were taken to Sengkang General Hospital. According to Lian He Wan Pao, the second attack occurred right below Block 310A and involved a woman being bitten and dragged for nearly a metre by the wild boar. The latest wild boar attack comes after a woman was attacked by a wild boar on November 17th last year while she was exercising in a Sungai Api Api Park in Pasiris. Um, and we believe that it's also because there's been a lot of intensive development in the past decade itself in these two areas, Pasiris and Pongol. Um, so while animals do get flushed out, um, we also believe that um, not at all times, all developments actually took wild animals uh, into consideration uh, when the clearing of the forest actually happened. So what we are facing now, um, unfortunately, is that um, these animals are stuck in small pockets of habitats. So um, they are much more exposed to uh, places like residential places um, where people are coming really close uh, to these animals. One small tip that can minimize the situation is to move away from the line of charge, just to duck away and also move. Uh, when you see a wild boar in the environment itself, it's best to just increase the distance gradually. Um, even if the wild boar is not running around, it's definitely not advisable to approach or uh, move closer to the animal and other tips like um, not using flash photography whether it's a camera phone or a normal camera uh, flash photography actually freaks out um, spooks the animal so it's important not to use any flash uh, on your camera as well so these things can help to prevent um, such incidences which are really unfortunate Hakuna Matata it means no worries Hakuna Matata